Okay, welcome to Chiboya. Today I'll be sharing about the low pressure EGR of G engine with my colleague, our first engineer, yeah, Jex. Hello, Jex. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. <laughs> one of my videos I've shared, uh, one of my videos I've shared about the Mitsui EGR. That EGR is a high pressure EGR, but here in G engine EGR, it is a low pressure EGR. So, what is the difference between these two EGR? The high pressure EGR is normally installed before the turbocharger while the low pressure EGR is installed uh, after the turbocharger. So if you want to learn about the G engine low pressure EGR, watch till the end. And you will see even engineer Jax will explain about the EGR. In my recent C trial, I had an opportunity to share with our crew and colleague the principle and operation of G engine or Japan engine low pressure EGR. See so now, so Captain is explaining about the tier 3. Uh, this is the EGR tier 3. To demonstrate the tier 3, the working principle and its operation. So, with regards to the so our EGR system, we have this EGR blower and uh, dynister. So again, from CTU, we can see a pump right here. Then, it will suction again. The G-Engine EGR is also a tier 3 technology to reduce the emission of NOx from the engine into the atmosphere. This EGR is designed for LSMGO or fuel less than a 0.1 sulfur. In one of my video, I have shared about the Mitsui MAN BMW high pressure EGR. The high pressure EGR is installed before the turbocharger while the low pressure EGR is installed after the turbocharger. In principle on how to reduce the NOx, the Mitsui EGR and G-Engine EGR are the same, but the type, construction, and operating procedure is different. But before getting into the principle and operation of G-Engine low-pressure EGR, for better understanding, let's first discuss how the NOx is formed. The NOx is formed inside the combustion chamber during the combustion process at high temperature. The atmospheric air sucked by our turbocharger that chooses for engine combustion is normally composed of about 78% nitrogen, about 21% oxygen, and about 1% other gases. Through the high temperature of combustion, the molecules of nitrogen and oxygen break apart into more reactive atoms that eagerly recombine to form NOx. Therefore, NOx is a product of nitrogen and oxygen reaction at high temperature. The higher temperature or the higher combustion temperature, the higher formation of NOx. And the lower combustion temperature, the lower formation of NOx. In Mitsui high pressure EGR, about 30 to 40 percent of the excess gas from the engine is being cleaned, cooled, and recirculated. But in G-Engine low-pressure EGR, only about 20% of the excess gas from the engine is being cleaned, cooled, and recirculated. For comparison of these two types of EGR, please watch my video about Mitsui EGR. So to give you an overview, these are the main components of G-Engine low-pressure EGR. First is the EGR scrubber, the demister, the EGR blower, the water treatment system. Actually, the water treatment system is composed of a scrubbing water receiver, drain water chamber, collecting tank unit, water cooler unit, and water treatment unit. So let's proceed to the principle and operation where we can also discuss the purpose of its main components. First is how to start the EGR. Since it is designed for LSMGO, first, we have to change over the consumption from high sulfur or VLSFO to LSMGO by using the Phobos calculator or any calculator used by your company. While changing over the fuel, check the power of water treatment control panel, EGR inverter, auto sensor unit, and various pumps that are set to on. Actually, even after the tier 3 operation, the power of those are keep on so it is normally on. After changing over the fuel consumption, prepare the water treatment system 
in the control panel. Check the system status to be in remote setting. Then press the ready button and make sure that the check boxes for all startup interlux items are in green light. When all are in green light, close this window. Preparation for water treatment system is done. Water treatment system is ready. So after preparing the water treatment system, then you may start the EGR. In the LCD or liquid crystal display, select the EGR system. Then mode select. Then touch the tier 3 button. Select the tier 3 mode and then press yes. Then the EGR gas inlet valve starts to open 200% full. At the same time, the water treatment system has started. So while the EGR gas inlet valve is opening, the tier 3 mode in the LCD blinks. Upon reaching the 100% valve opening, the EGR system status changes to running. At this time, both the EGR system and the water treatment system are running. In the engine low pressure EGR, the excess gas from the engine is also called the EGR gas. This excess gas is normally composed of CO2, SOX, and other gases. Okay, so let's proceed on the EGR gas system. In principle, how does the EGR reduce NOx? Okay, about 20% of excess gas or EGR gas is being cleaned, cooled, and recirculated. This about 20% of EGR gas will pass through the EGR inlet valve, going to the EGR scrubber. The EGR scrubber was the suit and cool down the EGR gas. During the washing or scrubbing, part of the socks is dissolved and removed. Then, will pass through the demister, where the EGR gas separates from the water. From the demister, the EGR blower will suck the EGR gas and send it to the turbocharger blower side. The mixing of excess gas and fresh air takes place at the turbocharger blower side. Then, will pass through the air cooler to scavenging air receiver and to be used for combustion. The excess gas or EGR gas partly removed the oxygen to lower the oxygen concentration from about 21% to about 16-19%. to 19%. By lowering the oxygen, the combustion rate or the speed of combustion reduces. And when the speed of combustion has reduced, the combustion temperature also reduces. The reduce in combustion temperature reduces the formation of NOx. So just remember, the higher combustion temperature, the higher formation of NOx, while the lower combustion temperature and the lower formation of NOx. So this is how the EGR reduces NOx. The oxygen concentration is being controlled by the EGR frequency inverter. When the oxygen concentration is getting higher, the EGR blower speed gets higher to introduce more excess gas or EGR gas to lower the oxygen concentration and vice versa. For your better overview, here are the actual components of EGR gas side. So from the engine, about 20% of excess gas or EGR gas will lead to the EGR inlet valve and about 80% will lead to the funnel. After the EGR inlet valve, the gas will pass through the EGR scrubber. The EGR scrubber was the suit and cool down the EGR gas. Then, it will pass through the demister where the EGR gas separates from the water. From the demister, the EGR gas will sent by the EGR blower to the turbocharger blower side where the mixing of fresh air and EGR gas takes place. Now, let's proceed to the water treatment system. The water circulating in the system is called scrubbing water. In Mitsui EGR, it is called a process water. The main purpose of water treatment system in G-Engine Low Pressure EGR is to keep the scrubbing water clean, cooled, and to control the acidity of the water by keeping the pH to be within the set value. The water sprayed to the EGR scrubber will be separated in the demister and then will flow through to the scrubbing water receiver. Then will go to collecting tank unit. The scrubbing water will lead to the water cooler to cool down to about less than 40 degrees Celsius. Then after the cooler, the water will spray to the EGR scrubber 
for cleaning and cooling down the gas or the EGR gas. Part of the water from the cooler is going to water treatment unit to clean and remove the soot of the scrubbing water. The cleaned water will send to the scrubbing water line leading to the EGR scrubber nozzle. The sludge or residue from the water treatment unit uh, is discharged to remove residue tank. Disposal of this residue is only through shore facility. And the condensed water from air cooler will flow through the drain water chamber. The water is sent or pushed by the scavenging air pressure to the EGR scrubber. At a high engine load where the scavenging air pressure is high, it may able to send the water to the EGR scrubber as a washing water for scrubber wall cleaning. At low engine load, the valve leading to scrubbing water receiver will open and the valve leading to scrubber will be closed. At dry season where the condensation from air cooler is very minimal, the water level of the city or collecting tank unit may get slower. In this case, before reaching the low low water level, the first water valve will auto open to top up the CTU. Compared to the Mitsui EGR, the G engine EGR doesn't have the bleed of water. This is the processed water accumulated from the condensation in the air cooler. For comparison, again, please watch my video about Mitsui EGR. Now, another question is, what is the purpose of NaOH or commonly called caustic soda in the EGR or water treatment system of EGR? Okay, the excess gas contains salts or sulfur oxide that when the sulfur touches the water, at EGR scrubber, it dissolves in form into sulfuric acid, meaning the scrubbing water will become acidic. In order to neutralize the acid, the EGR uses NOH or commonly called caustic soda. So this caustic soda is highly alkaline, which has the ability to neutralize the acid. The CTU or collecting tank unit monitor the pH or acidity of the scrubbing water. And when the pH value becomes 6.8 plus minus 0.2 ppm or 7.0 ppm, the NOH pump will start three times with a certain time interval to bring up the pH value. Due to neutralization, the specific gravity or density of the scrubbing water may get increased. When the SG or specific gravity becomes about 1 to 1.05 grams per centimeter squared, these three-way bulbs will open and the water will be discharged directly to the residue tank. Moreover, the scrubbing water pump is continuously running, but when the water level of this uh, scrubbing water receiver gets lower, this bulb will close and the water will only recirculate until the water level recovers. When the water level recovers, this bulb will open again. This is to prevent the pump from dry running. For your better overview, these are the actual components of water treatment system. Okay, the scrubbing water will be separated at the demister, then will flow to the scrubbing water receiver. The scrubbing water receiver pump delivers the water to the CTU or collecting tank unit. By the CTU pump, the water will pass through the WCU or water cooler unit, then to the EGR scrubber nozzle. And the scrubbing water is being cleaned at the water treatment unit or WTU. After knowing how to start the EGR, now let's proceed to the stopping the EGR. Again, in the LCD or the liquid crystal display, touch the EGR system, then mode select. Then from tier 3, touch the tier 2 button. Then yes. The EGR inlet valve will gradually close. Then the tier 2 on the LCD blinks during the transition mode. Transition mode is about 5 minutes. When the EGR inlet and outlet valve 
is fully closed and the EGR blower has fully stopped, then the water treatment system stops. Then after a few seconds, the EGR purge starts. Okay, during the EGR purging, this bulb, a branch out from the service line, will open to purge the remaining gas in the EGR gas line for about 15 minutes. While purging, the EGR inlet bulb is partly open, about 5 to 6 percent. After purging, the EGR operation has stopped. By any means that the EGR has stopped, either by normal stopping or emergency or just because of the failure, the EGR purge starts to purge out the remaining gas in the EGR gas system. Just like with Mitsui EGR, it has also the auto stop and auto start setting. You can verify the NOx technical file on this matter. For Mitsui EGR, the EGR will auto stop or disengage at about 12% engine load and will auto start or engage at 15% engine load. While for G engine low pressure EGR, it will auto stop at 15% engine load and auto start at about 20% engine load. Just like with other EGR, the low pressure EGR of G engine also needs to calibrate the auto sensor. So let's proceed to the auto sensor calibration. On the LCD, that's the EGR system. Then mode select. Then auto calibration then enter the password. That's the auto calibration mode on. Please wait for about 15 to 20 minutes and will turn into green color. And also wait for the auto concentration reading on the LCD get stabilized at about 20.9%. Press the calibration of each sensor. After a few seconds, sensors are calibrated. After the calibration, turn off the calibration mode. Auto sensor calibration is completed. On my next video, I'll be sharing about the NOx tier 3 regulation, including when and where the NOx tier 3 technologies has to be used. Thank you for watching my videos. Again, if you have any comments, no, feel free to leave your comments in the comment section below. Good day and God bless us all. Hello, sa mga kabarojan. Gusto yung matuto sa IGR. Please subscribe and like.